What's going on guys, PC here, and welcome to another episode of First Look. Today we're taking a first look at Snowcross Championship Racing on the Dreamcast. This is a snowmobile racing game, as you might be able to tell from the title. I don't really know a whole lot about it. I have played only one other snowmobile racing game before, and that is... Uh, I actually forget the name of it now. <laughs> it's on the PlayStation 1. It's a pretty well-known snowmobile racing game. But uh, that was pretty fun. This, I don't know. Uh, the reviews for this, I think, are kind of mixed. But uh, again, I like to form my own opinion on it and not really read too much into the reviews and other people's opinions on the game. So uh, yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons with these first look videos. I'd rather not look it up or look up gameplay or s screenshots or... Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter if I look up screenshots, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want to see really what other people think about it. I'd rather just form my own opinion, play it for the first time, and, and see how it goes. But uh, anyway, here's the main menu, which is actually kind of cool. They do a sort of curving around the corner there, which is an interesting look. Uh, there is a track editor, so that's kind of cool. Might have to check that out after. Um, championship, single race, time trial, options. So let's go into... Uh, let's just do single race for now. And we'll do one player. Okay, so we'll pick our snowmobile. Looks like there are actual Yamaha snowmobiles in this. Graphics don't seem all that great. Looks a little bit like uh, high-res PS1 graphics. <laughs> not so great, but uh, let's go with this blue one here. There are stats and all that, but I'm not going to pay too much attention to any of that. Enter some initials. Sure, why not? Alright, select a track. Uh, you can select the weather too, which is cool. So I can do snowing, raining, and sunny. Let's start off with sunny. And uh, so we have Aspen, Karuna, Calgary, Murmansk, Kitzbahel, Nanago, Munich, and then custom tracks. So we'll start off with Aspen, I guess, since that's the first one. I'm assuming that's probably the easiest track, that's usually what they put first. Looks pretty straightforward, nothing too complicated. Alright. Okay, so right trigger is accelerate. Oh, <laughs> oh jeez, I fell off my snowmobile. <laughs> Apparently you can do that. I have to be really careful. Oh, jeez. It's, it's definitely slippery, which you would expect for snow. It seems to control quite well. I mean, I've never actually driven a real snowmobile before, so I don't know how it's supposed to handle, <laughs> but I imagine it's similar to this. It, it seems, like I said, it, you do seem to slip and slide on the snow a bit. Not too much. It's, it's not terrible to the point where it's uncontrollable, which is nice. <laughs> uh, but it is there, and it, it makes it feel a little bit realistic. I'm not doing too bad here. Second place. I didn't start off too well falling off the snowmobile <laughs> and causing that other guy to uh, fall off of his. I think I crashed right into him. But I think I'll get a decent placement at least. Alright, so final lap. I'm not sure if I can actually catch up to this guy unless I have some sort of turbo boost. <laughs> or maybe some weapons, that would be cool. That actually reminds me, I did play another snowmobile racing game before. Arctic Thunder, the third game in Midway's Thunder series. That's a lot of fun, that has weapons in it, which is awesome. 
I don't know if any of the other buttons do anything. I haven't pressed anything other than accelerate. Is that guy trying to sabotage me? <laughs> Looks like he was intentionally waiting on the side of the track in order to ram me when I came by. No matter, his plan failed and I am now first place, so screw him. <laughs> All right, sweet. Finished first place. And I finished, looks like, a couple seconds ahead of the other guy. Nice. All right, let's proceed and try one of the other tracks. Actually goes right back to the main menu, okay. Single race, one player. Let's pick a different snowmobile this time. I actually call them sleds in this. Let's go with this one. Alright, which track should we choose? Hmm. Let us go with... Actually, I don't think I can play those. Looks like I have to unlock them. Let's go with Calgary. And uh, let's pick the snow. Why not? Okay, so we'll see if we can do as well as we did in the last one. See if we can actually start off a little bit better. <laughs> I'll go this way. That way I'm... Oh, <laughs> I almost jumped over the edge of the track. Alright. Trying not to hit walls or other racers. <laughs> like that. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, that was close. Thought for sure I'd fall off the snowmobile on that one. All right, new lap record. Hanging on to my first place position here. I have no idea if the computer player has a specific difficulty they're on. I assume they're on regular right now. I mean, I'm, I'm not playing the championship mode, I'm just doing the single race, and I did not see an option to change the difficulty. Maybe it's in the settings somewhere. I'll have to check that after. But they're definitely not very difficult, that's for sure. So I'm guessing they're either on normal or easy. If there is a difficulty setting. Uh, took that turn a little bit too wide. Or too sharp, I should say. Um, <laughs> whoops. Just a little red arrow at the bottom of the screen there. I assume that means there's a guy right behind me. No matter, I finished first. <laughs> Couple seconds ahead again, not bad. Not too shabby at all. Yeah, I'm gonna check the difficulty and see if there is one. If I go to options, game options. Um, okay, <laughs> wow, that's a lot of game options. They let you choose the number of laps. <laughs> okay. Uh, best times, sound options, controllers, credits, born to ride. Must be some sort of video. Yeah, so it doesn't look like they let you choose any sort of difficulty, so... Whoops, I changed the laps to five by accident. Let's do three. Um, yeah, I, I have no idea. Yeah, I, I guess the... Computer players are just that easy. Let's just try the um, track editor. I'm kind of curious about that. Alright, so let's see. Start piece. Alright, so it seems pretty simplistic. So, 
yeah, so I guess I'll just do a start, okay, and then I can choose where on the grid to put it. Uh, let's put it here. And I can hit the right trigger to rotate it. Alright, so how do I go back? I want to choose a different piece. There we go. Alright, so we'll go straight off from the start. And maybe do a curve. Sure, why not? I'm, I'm just going in order at this point. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? We got a bumpy straight. Let's do that. A couple bumpy straights, why not? Let's go wild with it. And, uh, yeah, let's split up after that. Sure, why not? And... Let's do a winding straight. We're, we're gonna we're gonna go all crazy with this. And let's take a turn, a hard curve. Look at that. It's treacherous. Treacherous is what I call it. And then we'll do uh, a tunnel. Sure, why not? Do a tunnel there. And then we are going to do just an easy straight after that. And. A big jump, sure, sure, let's do the big jump. Oops, did not mean to do that. But not like that, okay. And we're gonna come back around. A pit curve, sure, sure, that sounds good to me. And we're gonna do an easy straight after that, and I think we want another jump. Let's do, uh, actually a bridge, that sounds nice. We'll do a bridge. And, uh, two bridges, why not? I mean, the more bridges, the merrier. Let's go back and, uh, let's do a bumpy straight here, right after the bridge. And, uh, we'll curve back in. A mountain curve, yes, absolutely. A mountain curve back to an easy straight to the finish line. Looks good to me. Let's try this out. And let's do, let's do, uh, let's do rain. We haven't done rain yet, so why not? Yeah, so this is, uh, my first custom track. I think it's gonna be the best track in the game, for sure. There we go. Nice. I wonder if the rain is going to make it more slippery. Oh, jeez. Uh, maybe it is. <laughs> Or maybe I'm just doing absolutely horrible here. Oh, this is definitely a bumpy track. Definitely a bumpy track. And we got the curve around here, the split. Bumpy curve. A turn here. Got that nice tunnel. We got the bumpy jump or whatever that's called. Big jump. Oh, my double bridge. It's my double bridge. All right. Yeah, I think it is a little bit more slippery when you have the rain. Which makes sense. Yeah, so that's my track. It seems pretty decent to me. I'll give it five out of five stars. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the track editor. Yeah, a nice little addition to the game if you want some variety since there, uh, especially considering there aren't many tracks in the game. I think there were about five. But yeah, I think maybe I'll just do one more race here and then we'll end the video. Let's just try the championship just for the heck of it. I'm just curious. Uh, so yeah, we have 500 CC, 600, 700. So there are a few different difficulties there. But the single race, they restrict you to, I, I'm guessing, easy CPU players. Because, uh, yeah, they were definitely not very difficult at all. Alright, championship. Okay. Oh, wow. They let you actually buy upgrades for your snowmobile, which is cool. Hmm. So apparently, I'm guessing you earn money as you progress through the championship mode. So that's cool. Okay, so you can repair things too. 
So maybe you can take damage. Alright, so I'm just gonna proceed here. I think. <laughs> I don't want to buy anything. I'm, I'm good. Item is already fully repaired. Yeah, okay. So how do I go? Oh, start race. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. It adds a little more depth to the game. Alright, so this is the first track again, I believe. What was that? Aspen? I'll try not to ram into the other racers. <laughs> of course, they're going to ram into me. And someone fell off. <laughs> I should just play this like Road Rash. <laughs> Try and knock the other racers off their snowmobiles. Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying this game so far. I'm definitely not an expert on snowmobile racing games since, like I said, I've only played a couple of them before but this one seems pretty solid, it controls well, and uh, I, I'm having fun with it. I really have no complaints. It does seem like it's lacking a bit of track variety. Like I said, I think there are only maybe five, six tracks, something like that. And the graphics leave a lot to be desired, I think. It, it definitely looks, looks more like a high-res PlayStation 1 game, like I said. Which I think it is a PS1 port, so I guess that makes sense. It's just too bad some developers just didn't put much work into upgrading the game for the Dreamcast hardware. But that being said, it's not the worst looking game on the Dreamcast. It's passable. But heck, I really don't care too much about graphics. As long as the game is fun, that's what counts. And this one's pretty good. It looks like we're gonna win the race again. And keep my win streak alive. Whoops. <laughs> Are we on the final lap? I believe so. Yes! Sweet! Alright, sweet. So... Oh, trick money earned? Oh, apparently you can do tricks. That's interesting, I did not know that. Well, like I said, I was not trying any of the other buttons. So I suppose maybe you can do tricks. But I did earn $500 for winning the race, so that's cool. But anyway guys, I'm going to end the video here. This is a pretty good game. If you enjoy snowmobile racing games or just want some sort of racing game that's different, then this might be worth a shot. It is a fairly cheap Dreamcast game, so you can pick it up fairly easily. So if it's something that you feel is up your alley, then maybe give it a shot. But anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.